call me Jack Daddy. I like to build things. Uh, I figured I'd make some videos to show you guys how I build them. That's my rooster voodoo. Maybe you can learn some things. Maybe you can uh, enjoy watching this stuff. Maybe you can build your own stuff. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to replace some bearings in this uh, 13 Fishing Concept Z. Um, we already did the one bearing over here that you just pop off with the spring lock. Uh, we're going to, I'll show it to you, but then we're going to take this side off and uh, replace the bearings with some spool high speed bearings. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but uh, man, they're on Instagram and they show them casting like just spooling the reel, just casting. So, uh, Concept Z smooth anyway. We're gonna see what spool bearings will do to it. Stay tuned. Just click it, spring loaded, get it open. So then on the inside, we've already done this one. But what you do is you'll take some tweezers or a, a like a little flathead screwdriver, and you'll get behind that little spring and you'll just pry it out. And it's just a like a one, two, three, four, five, four or five sided spring or whatever, and you just pop it out. Take the old bearing out, put the new spool in there, spool being spool high speed bearings in there, put the spool, put the spring back in there. There's nothing to that side. Uh, but next we gotta get into this side. So there's gonna be a couple more bearings behind all of this. So the brake, and uh, it's gonna be behind all that. So let's get into it. Alright, so to get into this casing, we've got to take uh, the handle off. We're gonna take one screw off of this side, a few screws off the bottom, and then there's a, a screw or two inside like where the spool is. And then uh, we'll be able to pull this apart and look at our bearings. All right, so uh, we got this apart. This is the back side. This is the front side right here. And uh, we're gonna take this out right here. So what you do is you get some tweezers or that little flathead screwdriver. You get up under there where you can grab that thing. And see, when you pull it, the thing's gone. So then you just gotta pry that out of there like that. All right. All right, so we got that one little CZB bearing out, put it in with the new spool high-speed ball bearings, put the clip re retainer clip back in after we found it on the carpet because it shot way the heck out there. And uh, got that back in, so this side's done. And now we gotta get in behind all of these, and that's real simple. Uh, but the main thing you wanna remember is put your junk in order. So that way when you're putting it back in, you can just take it and put it right back in in the same order you took it out. So we'll go ahead and start taking some of this stuff off. All right, so we gotta take this one off. What I do is take some pliers or channel locks, and what you'll do is you'll get on the back side of that thing and you do it real gentle and squeeze it out. Uh, you know, they make a little tool that kind of sits on there and you push it out like some pliers. Just kind of improvise if you don't have that. Push it out and then you'll get it, you'll get it out even. And then you'll take some pliers and put on the back side and just kind of twist and use constant pressure until you can pull it out. And then obviously you just take that one off put the next one back on just like that and then put your pin back in all right so your last bearing is going to be under your real handle brass piece so this is going to be your last bearing you got to put in and you got to take out two screws or a small screw here small screw there and then this will just slide out with your gears and when you're putting it back in you got to remember to make sure your gears line up you don't want it all cocked up on it like that so make sure your gears line up screw it in. So we're gonna take that bearing out and start putting this thing all back together and then we'll show you how far it'll cast. All right, so uh, one thing you wanna do before you start putting everything back together is uh, get your lube and look, they don't necessarily say a whole lot on there. Just take just a drop. You just want like just a little, just enough to wet it. That's all. Cause if you fill it full of grease and junk, it's gonna slow it right back down. You want just enough to keep it lubricated, to keep it from, you know, I don't know if they're rust or not, but just to keep it nice and clean and smooth. And then uh, before you start putting all this stuff back together, just take one or two drops, put it on there, and then put it all back together. Mm -hmm. All right, so the last stuff you do, man, just put all this stuff together. Once you get all your screws back in, pop that spool in, close it up on this side with that little spring lock, and you'll be ready to go. All right, so now we got everything put back together. Got all our stuff oiled up. Got spool high-speed bearings in. Uh, we don't have a full thing of a braid, but 
Uh, we'll go put this on a reel and launch it and show you what it'll do. All right, so we're about to tell you the deal with these. Uh, we replaced the bearings. We left the little covers off the edge like they recommend to get maximum performance. And uh, we just put it on a tula rod real quick. Um, well, we don't have the full thing of braid because we were hoping to spool this thing on the first throw, but it was far from spooling it. So uh, we got down to settings good. We got our brake almost all the way loose. Look, we're throwing like a little quarter ounce weight with a four alt hook and a lizard. So uh, it's not like it's just super light. I mean, that's a heavy enough lure. And uh, no doubt this thing real smoother and feels smoother. But as far as distance goes, we didn't pick up a whole lot. So it's not terrible, but uh, it's not like his Instagram videos either. Uh, but what we're hoping is the more it breaks in, maybe time, that it'll it'll do lights out. But definitely, definitely an improvement. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you can improve on a three hundred dollar reel, uh, I didn't buy this reel, uh, but my buddy did. Three hundred dollars. Isn't it three hundred dollars? Two hundred. My bad. Two hundred dollars. All right. So we just took apart a two hundred dollar reel and put in some new bearings to improve it, and uh, it definitely is smoother. But I don't know. You can decide for yourself. I'm going to throw it one time right here for you. Be happy. That's it right there. So, we report, you decide. <laughs>